Right, we're going to hit the tagines. So what we've done here is we've got beef, cheap cuts of stewing beef, right? So to about 600 grams of stewing beef, uh, I've marinated that for a couple of hours or overnight with salt, pepper, just a good pinch, uh, a teaspoon heaped of the Ras Al Hanout, which is the garam masala, a level teaspoon of cumin, a level teaspoon of cinnamon, a slightly heaped teaspoon of ground ginger, and a teaspoon of paprika, sweet paprika. And what we do is we fry off the meat in some olive oil. Once you've got a bit of colour going on, add one chopped onion and a tin of chickpeas. Then I add a regular tin of chopped tomatoes, OK? Lid goes on top. Now, beef will need about two and a half, three hours to cook. So at this stage, this has had about an hour and a half cooking. It's more than half cooked. There's good flavour already. But I'm going to take this opportunity to add to it. So I want to add some squash. That's definitely in season at the moment. There's a fair bit of it around. If I put this in at the very beginning, it's just going to go to a complete mush, which isn't the end of the world, to be honest. You get good flavour, but it's quite nice to have it soft and lovely, but also holding shape. And then I'm going to gesture some lovely prunes. Now, I'm just going to tear it up into bits. Just a couple of prunes. You'd be amazed what a difference that makes. The beef, you can see how it's almost like just sort of side of relief and kind of cooked down and it's all cooked into itself. Really, really nice. That is, you know, you're going to get a richness from those prunes that are going to really rock with the beef. And obviously, you can tell when the beef or any meat is cooked, because look, you want to peach it and you want it to flake like that. If it ain't doing that, carry on cooking it. Let's plate it up. I've done, I, I want to plate this up dead simple, OK? All I'm doing is serving this with simple, lightly seasoned couscous. I kind of feel as if I've put enough love and care into the actual tagines. Look at that. Beautiful little dish. You could put a few crumbled almonds over it. So there's the beautiful beef tagine. I'm really proud of that.